Today I'll be testing a new hair tool that recently went viral on TikTok to see if it works on this wavy, crazy thick mane of mine. I'm talking about the Chi Spin and Curl. I have the Lava 1 and 1 4 inch version to test today. Here's what the tool looks like unboxed. Now this is supposed to do all the work for you to give you shiny, bouncy curls quickly. You basically insert your hair, it will wrap your hair around the wand for you, and when you release, you'll have a defined curl. Now seeing this reminded me a lot of my personal go-to curler. This is the Kiss InstaWave. It's an affordable automatic curler that I've been using for six years now. I actually threw out all of my standard clamp curlers once I discovered this because it created these beautiful curls in half the time with half the work. Now because the InstaWave works so similarly to the Chi Spin and Curl, I figured we'd compare the two today to find out is this worth the splurge? or can you save a hundred dollars and get the same results? So we're gonna get into that, but first if you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. Let's talk specifics about each tool before I go ahead and use them. So again, here is the Chi Lava Spin and Curl with the one and one fourth inch barrel. This one is $139.99. Now there is a small smaller version of this with a one inch barrel that's available for $99.99, but I do prefer just a slightly bigger curl. I think it just suits my hair better. The Spin and Curl has three temperature options, 370, 390, and 410. And it also has three heat up options. So how long it keeps your hair on the barrel before it beeps telling you to release it. So there's 15 seconds for fine hair, 17 seconds for medium hair, and 19 seconds for coarse hair, which is probably what I'll be doing. As I mentioned before, your hair is going to be automatically wrapped around the barrel, which is inside of this protective barrier. And you can control the direction of the curl using one of these two buttons going right or left. I usually curl away from my face. Now I'm curious to see how this feature works, but it is supposed to have a tangle prevention alert. So I guess if it feels some resistance coming from your hair and it thinks that there's a knot in the way of it wrapping smoothly, it will stop and beep so you can fix it. It won't just keep pulling at your hair. So that's reassuring. <laughs> I love the fact that this has a built-in one hour timer for an automatic shut off. So if you forget to turn it off, you don't have to worry. I know for me, I'm always like, did I turn my hair tools off? And this is dual voltage for international use if you wanna travel with it. That's a big one for me because whenever we travel, you know, when things are normal, it's a little bit tricky deciding which hair tools to bring with me and figure out will this work or will this explode when I plug it in overseas. Now let's talk about the Kiss InstaWave. Now I do wanna point out, this is the older version. Like I said, I got this six years ago. They have since updated it. There aren't a lot of things that changed, but it now comes with a white handle and a gold barrel and it's called the Kiss InstaWave 101 and it is available in both one inch and one and one fourth inch versions. I have the one and one fourth inch version so it will match the size of curl that the Chi tool gives us. This tool is only $29.99, so $110 less than the Chi tool. Now with this tool, there are only two heat settings. I'm not sure what the low is, but they do say that the high can get up to 400 degrees. This also features a ceramic barrel with ionic technology to reduce frizz and prevent breakage. Now, obviously one of the main differences about this is that the barrel's exposed. There isn't a protective chamber. There are these little teeth here that are supposed to help separate your hair and kind of keep tangles away as it wraps around the barrel. Now, I've never been able to travel with this despite it being one of my favorite hair tools up until now because it is only single voltage. For some extra context, my hair is very thick and I have a lot of it. So any type of styling, whether it's with a blow dryer, a straightener, or a curler, it's usually a chore and not every hair tool is up to the task. So let's head to the bathroom and test these out side by side. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and brush out my hair, which will help relax any of those tighter waves left. Going in with my favorite heat protectant, this is the Eva NYC 10-in-1 Main Magic Primer. I'm just gonna spray that that all over this first layer. So I'm really excited to test out the spin and curl. I'm gonna use this first. Okay, so I have it at the highest heat setting, which is 410 Fahrenheit, and I can actually see the number increase as it heats up. Now I also want to increase 
how many seconds it holds my hair. And I believe we've got it at 19 seconds now. I just hit the mode button to switch between the two programs. There were actually several levels within each low, medium, and high. So medium ranged from 375 to 395. You're not stuck just on three temperatures, if that makes sense. You have the whole range to play with if you do want to go a little bit on the higher end of medium or the lower end of medium. Okay, so it does say this side toward the head. I've got a one inch section of hair, which is recommended for both of these tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this there. Ooh. Okay, wow. <laughs> it's strong, but it didn't hurt. It didn't pull at my hair or anything. So it should be keeping at 19 seconds before beeping, letting me know it's ready to release. And I do see the heat protectant doing its job. <laughs> Okay. Okay. It's kind of clumpy. That's the first curl here. Let's try one more. That was our first one on this side. So here's the thing. I don't mind splurging on hair tools because I often keep my hair tools anywhere between five and 10 years if they still work. So if this works well, I don't mind the price. Okay, that one looks really, really good. But as I was saying, I have a high-end hair straightener that I've been using for almost 10 years now. So if it's going to give me quality and it's gonna keep working all that time, like I don't mind spending extra. So here are the three curls that we have so far. Now I've got my InstaWave heating up. Like I said, this one only has two heat settings. High is supposed to be around 400. Now what I really like already more on the cheese spin and curl is that customizable hold time. With this, I think it just beeps after 12 seconds and it's up to you whether or not you wanna hold it longer for a tighter curl or to accommodate the thickness of your hair. Now I do expect this one to come out a little cleaner than our first spin and curl since I've been using this for six years and I kind of know my way around it versus the first time I'm using the Chi product. So see that beeped so quickly. I'm pretty sure it was 12 seconds. I will usually hold it for about 19 or 20. Okay, and releasing. And there we go. So as you can see, the built-in teeth on this tool kind of hold your hair in and help wrap it close to the wand. And this one does go in both directions as well. There we go. While I do like being able to see what I'm doing with this tool, I have burned myself with it. So there's ups and downs to each feature. <laughs> All right, now that I feel like I have a little bit of a better handle on this, let's Try this out one more time with the Chi tool. This definitely just feels higher quality. I mean, it's probably not surprising. So that's what we have there. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh, it's the tangle alarm. Oh my God, what am I supposed to do? Okay, I held down the power button and now we're back to normal. Okay, so it definitely stopped pretty quickly. So that didn't hurt at all. I just kind of panicked because of the alarm. There we go. The tool is really smoothing out my waves. Like the curls look uniform. Look at that one. It looks really uniform and shiny and smooth despite the fact that my hair was so frizzy and textured when we started. You know what? I think that it's actually stopping for me. Like I feel like it's stopping before I release the button. So maybe it can recognize when it's wrapped the hair up enough. All right, back with the InstaWave. Pretty. So here's something that I really wanna point out. This barrel, even though they're the same width, this is slightly longer than the barrel that's inside of this tool. And that's why I think my curls are coming out a little bit more spaced out, a little bit looser 
than the spin and curl because my hair is getting compacted more in the Chi tool than it is on the InstaWave. So that's going to probably contribute to tighter curls once I do shake this side out versus the InstaWave. And honestly, probably longer lasting curls because you're starting tighter. And I'm still getting a lot of shine on this side. It's definitely smoothing out my hair. And that's sort of why I switched to automatic curlers in the first place because with typical wand curlers where you're just wrapping your hair around it, it wasn't smoothing out my hair versus when my hair is being run over the wand as it's curling, it's smoothing out that texture so I don't just end up with frizzy curls. Now the other problem with this not having a protective barrier is that sometimes those teeth can pick up hair that I'm not necessarily wanting in the curl. I'm trying to make sure that my hair is like going in really flat and not twisted at all. Nice, that one looks really good. Yeah, the feeling of how tightly my hair is being wrapped around the barrel is pretty drastic between these two. It feels very loose with the InstaWave. As an experience, I'm liking this better just cause I don't have to think as much as with the InstaWave. I don't have to worry about burning myself. I don't have to worry about counting after the beeping. So here's what we've got going on on the Chi side. Overall, pretty uniform, smooth curls. I'm gonna let them cool down as I finish up the InstaWave side. So just looking in the mirror here, I feel like the Chi tool gave me a tight enough curl so that when I do kind of shake them out, I'm still left with a lot of definition and bounce and shape. Whereas on the InstaWave side, there's a lot that already looks pretty fallen. They've really turned into looser waves versus what I'd consider a curl. I do have a good amount of volume on both sides, but it's like this side just has a little bit more shape to it. And I do feel like the Chi tool kind of gave me more even definition throughout the entire strand, but I'm gonna go ahead and run some styling product through my hair and then we will reconvene for my final thoughts. Okay, I added some leave-in conditioner. Now, with both of these tools having the ionic barrel, I feel like I got the same amount of shine and frizz reduction on both sides. This is really hard because it is such a huge price gap, but I do feel like the features that set the Chi Spin and Curl apart from the InstaWave sort of justify the price. And obviously that's only if you feel like those features would serve you. Because I have such thick hair that typically needs the higher heat or higher hold time that this lets me program into the tool, I feel like the experience was just a lot easier. Especially if you're someone who is conscious about heat exposure with your hair to retain its health, having all of the options that this provides you will make a big difference if this is something you're going to be using all the time. Something else I forgot to mention about the Chi tool is that once you set your heat and time settings, it actually locks. So that way, if you press one of these buttons accidentally in the middle of doing your hair, you're not gonna mess with the numbers. With all things considered, from the customization options to the end results, I do think that I'm going to be gravitating more towards the Chi Spin and Curl and phasing out the Kiss InstaWave. Even with the larger sections that might've gotten a little bit wonky inside the Spin and Curl, as I've shaken them out and I've added some leave-in conditioner, they just look a lot more defined still than the InstaWave side. But I wanna know what you think. Which tool do you think ended up doing a better job? Tell me in the comments below. Today's shout out goes to Abby. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next where I try new and old favorites from Revolution Beauty. I'll see you over there. Bye.